Hey, this is Fia here. I'm a realtor here in Malaga, and I'm just gonna give you three tips, uh, quick tips before buying here a house in Spain. First tip. So you would need to ask the Nota Simple. The Nota Simple is a document um, from the house which officially needs to have all the owner's names. If it's not that case, if it's um, if it has one name of a guy or, or a man and a name of, a, of the wife, for example, but the wife is not there anymore, then they have not done their paperwork in a good way. So what they would need to do is first go to a register to make that paperwork in order. That will, last, that will take up like two, three months. So before making an offer or making a reservation, please check out the Nota Simple. Sometimes you can even ask it before doing a visit, as, so you don't waste time. The Nota Simple also will tell you if the house has got debts, so that is super important to know. So tip two is I will suggest to do a technical inspection of the house before making the reservation, because when you're making the reservation, you probably need to like transfer around 5 or 10% of the sales price. Let's say if the house is worth 200k, then you would need to make a transfer of 20k to the seller's bank account. If you later found out or what can happen if you don't do an, a technical inspection, what can happen is you've got the house, you open the door and then suddenly in a few months you see the electricity is not okay or the water is leaking or there's mold or the ceiling is falling down there can be happening so many so many stuff with a technical inspection you just know exactly in what state is the house the technical inspection here in, in spain i've got a guy who charges like 350 euro but he gives you a document, let's say for 6,000 or 5,000 or 4,000, everything will be good, as good as new again. So then you know exactly what you are buying. Tip three is when you are liking the house, perfect. If you want some furniture or the, the seller has said, okay, I will leave you some furniture, perfect. But you have to put everything in the reservation contract, what is exactly going to stay in the house and what will not stay in the house. Because if you don't put it in the reservation contract, the, peop the, the seller might say, okay, I'm going to leave you everything. And you are like, okay, good, that's fine. I like the furniture and it suits me because I don't have the money right now to, to buy some extra furniture. Put it in a contract because otherwise the seller one day can say something and the next day when you have gone to the notary you open the door of a new apartment as a new owner and you see that everything is gone it can happen like that because it was not in the contract if you put it in the contract the seller needs to leave you the stuff then if he said that the other things what he left there and if you don't want to use it you can throw it away or sell it or whatever so I hope that you liked the, the tips and see you in the next video.